feel like a fraggle. <laughs> what was it? There was like a show, a cartoon back in the 80s, Snork Snorks. Come on with the snorks. That sounds familiar. That's what I feel like right now. Anyways, good morning. Happy Sunday. I woke up. Haven't had coffee yet. I don't know what this kick is where I get up and I'm somehow verbal before coffee. It's like a miracle. I don't know. Maybe it's the spring weather. Who knows? Um, anyways, like I said, I'm feeling good. Did I say that? If you can't tell, I'm feeling good. I did Blogilates Shape of Your Thighs routine this morning. That's always a good one. And uh, now I'm going to wash my face, which is something I don't normally do, but I'm doing it for you guys because I wanted to try out something and make a talking point about it. This um, product is by the same company that I made that sheet mask I tried out, was it yesterday? Um, yeah, I'm already forgetting. The, yeah, the sheet mask that I did yesterday, a bib. Bib, a bib. Anyway, this is their Acne Foam Cleanser. It's got um, salicylic acid in it. I'm not sure what the percentage is, but the reason I wanted to share this with you guys and bring it up is that I get questions all the time about applying the coveted vitamin C serum. You guys know I don't use them because of all the many limitations behind them. The only one that actually has data behind it is the SkinCeuticals one. Everything else, in my opinion, is just is just a cash grab. Um, but I understand people wanted to use them. You know, some people appreciate a brightening effect, what have you. One of the limitations of vitamin C uh, serums is that uh, vitamin C has difficulty penetrating the skin barrier and it also is not super stable. But a little trick to help improve the penetration is to uh, wash your face first with either an alpha hydroxy acid cleanser or a beta hydroxy acid cleanser such as this. That will lower the pH of your skin barrier ever so slightly, just a tick, and may in theory allow for better penetration. So I wanted to try this one out. I, it's, it's free of fragrance. It has centella, which is helpful for calming down like irritation and stuff. It also has panthenol, which is good for the moisture barrier. I mean, all these things are great, but like you have to, you know, you have to kind of look at them with a little bit of side eye because you're just washing them off. But it is nice to have conditioning ingredients in a cleanser, especially one with salicylic acid because it can be very drying. It's just kind of nice, like, like, I don't know, just kind of, a, the, gently cushions. I don't know. I'm hand waving at this point. Um, it can be beneficial to have moisturizing ingredients in a cleanser for sure. All right. Even though they don't remain on the skin and continue to moisturize, they kind of help. They do help combat the dryness. Anyways, all that being said, I'm going to wash my face with this just to see what it's like. Now, when you wash your face, you always want to use, oh God, you always want to, I don't like to leave water running. Yeah, I don't like to leave water running. I don't know. Does anyone else feel that way? I just kind of feel like I'm wasting water, <laughs> a precious resource. Anyways, um, you always want to wash your face with lukewarm to cool water. You don't want to use extremely hot water because that, you know, further dissolves away at the moisture barrier and can really dry out and aggravate your skin. I'm looking forward to this. That mask yesterday, you guys, I, you know, I don't really do she masks. That sheet mask was worth repeating, which rarely ever do I repeat sheet masks. The only sheet masks I've ever been like jiving with are those hot lava ones that they're anti-aging, I think it's called, sheet mask is pretty good. And sauna has some good ones. Anyways, blah, 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 I'm gonna wash my face. <laughs> Comes out curly white. Mm -hmm. And when you use the salicylic acid cleanser, you, you want to make sure you avoid getting it around your eyes. It can be very irritating there. And don't view a salicylic acid cleanser as something that is actually going to clean to be removing like dirt or makeup and stuff because really what you're using it for is that salicylic acid. Salicylic acid, in the case of the vitamin C stick, is going to help, in theory, the penetration of the vitamin C, but salicylic acid can help with oiliness, it can help with pores, it can help with some skin textural things, it can help lift up, you know, some superficial hyperpigmentation, and it can help with acne control. So that's what you're using it for. You're not using it for the purpose of remo removing, <laughs> removing, uh, you're not using it for the purpose of removing like dirt, makeup, impurities. Uh, what have you. So um, the reason I say that is like, 
um, salicylic acid can be irritating, and especially if you've got like a dirty face and you use it, it's just not like the best thing to be washing your face with. So in my opinion, salicylic acids, cleansers, they really shine when they're used like first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna rinse it off now. Again, lukewarm to cool water. Okay, so now is like the best time to actually put the vitamin C serum on <clears throat> while the skin is still a little damp. The um, you know freshly cleansed damp skin, uh, you're gonna get better penetration. Plus, we just did that slight lowering of the pH. But you guys know I don't use vitamin C serums. For fun, I'm just gonna use this uh, Youth to the People one that I reviewed for you guys a while ago. Um, as the vitamin C serum just to show you guys. Two pumps. All right, now we're just gonna let that dry fully. And once it does, then I'm gonna put sunscreen on over it. All right, so I put it on. We're just gonna let it absorb fully. I, I'm i looking at the ingredients. This has ginger root oil, and I was like, why does this smell like, this smells like some kind of a tea, um, uh, like a ginger tea, and it's because it has ginger in it. Ginger is anti-inflammatory, but whether or not putting ginger on your skin is beneficial, it's like, a, again, a cash grab. I, I don't understand. Um, okay, 3-O-Ethyl. Yeah, this is the one that has a bunch of poorly studied forms of vitamin C. And no, is there any, fer was there any ferulic acid in this? I don't think so. Yeah, ferulic acid helps with the stability of, of ascorbic acid, so. <sighs> Oh, update on that wick candle. I am impressed. In fact, I'm tempted to slither over to Kroger again and pick another one up because they're on sale because it's it's putting out such a good throw. It smells exactly like, the, I can't remember the name of the particular scent that I got, but it smells exactly like a Yankee Candle store. Yeah, the throw on it is very good. I'm tempted to go back and get some more. Anyways, today actually, I want to film two shop with me videos for you guys. Uh, one in theory should be up already and the other, well, I, I don't know, I'm planning ahead as we speak, but you are watching this in the future. Anyway, I want to go to Target and Walmart and film shop with me videos today. So while I'm in there, I will vlog when I'm done with the shop with me content. So I'll take you guys along for that. All right, so at this point, my skin is dry. The vitamin C has sunk in. Everything is good to go. I'm gonna put sunscreen on over. Now see, the point of all this is uh, vitamin C is an antioxidant. It will help, in theory, to reduce some of the oxidative stress that your skin experiences throughout the day, like from environmental stressors, things like pollution and UV. Um, along with sunscreen, you have to have. Otherwise, like that is a complete F waste of time. In my opinion, vitamin C serum, most of them are a waste of time, um, with the exception of the CE Ferulic. Um, but yeah, it's a double waste of time if you don't put any sunscreen on. <laughs> so I've been using, I like this MD Solar Science tinted one. Look at the tint on that, it's pretty good. I've also really been loving that Color Science uh, even up one. That one's got really good coverage, but I don't want to wear that one today because I want to finish this one. I'm almost done with this one. I also cracked into that mini watermelon last night. I should have tapped it. I know there's some tapping technique for watermelons. Comment below on what the heck the tapping technique is because I can't remember to tell like if the watermelon is good. It's a little baby watermelon. And it was not good. It was one of those that's like got like a mealy center. Not good. Although I 
say that, but the flavor was pretty good. It just, you know, the kind of watermelon, the, the slight, the, you cut it into chunks, but the chunks, they don't really hold up. They're kind of mushy, you yeah, know, like that. It's probably too early, but hey, it was on Ibotta, so I'm not mad. I got that, what was it, 40 cents cash back? Ugh. I also watered my Aero Garden today. Whenever the little red light comes on, I, it sends me into a panic. Like, I feel as if, if I don't put the water in, like, the second the red light comes on, that the whole Aero Garden is just gonna shrivel up and die. <laughs> All right, so I'm sunscreened. That is really very important because it, you know, it, it's the, the, the pairing, you know, if you're using vitamin C, it, the idea is to pair it with your sunscreen so that you have some blockage of the free radical generating rays and then the free radicals that are generated, there's some, you know, mopping up. <laughs> so that's what you want. Um, all right, so that's Dunzo. Oh, you guys, let me put on my mascara and then I'm gonna share with you guys something that I've really been loving. All right, mascara is on. I think this is pretty good, uh, first impression. A bib, I, I've been happy with a bib so far. I <laughs> hope I'm saying that right. All right, one other thing I wanted to share with you guys that I have been loving. Um, so you guys know I always put my hair up and then I use these. I'm kind of sick of those for everyday use. Um, I, I like them at nighttime, but um, I discovered this thing and I'm gonna show you guys. First of all, I'm gonna put my hair up in a ponytail, so that'll take a second. Um, I like these, they, they have decent hold and they don't dent the hair. So I'm gonna put my hair up in a ponytail, but I'm not gonna pull too tight because that creates too much traction and can lead to breakage. So. All right, <clears throat> and then, all right, so I got this new gizmo. It's by Cantu, and I love it. And it holds my hair in a top messy bun that's just messy enough, but not too messy. You don't want the bun like flopping all over the place like that noodle thing I had going on earlier. Yeah, you don't want that. But if it's too, if it's too ballet bun, then you just look a little bit I don't know, severe. So you want volume in the bun and you want a little bit of, you want a little bit of texture, if you will, to the bun anyways. So you don't want too much pinning it down, but it needs to be secure. This thing I've been loving. Um, it holds it in place pretty well. I think depending on your hair type too, you could also use it to pull, pull your hair back in a low traction ponytail, but my hair would just, slip through but it does hold the bun and it's pretty easy to use <laughs> guys I just filmed a Target skincare shop with me video so I'm here in Target and this particular Target has a much better Easter candy selection um, not that I'm like making an Easter basket or anything but I always like looking at Easter candy it's fun
Ooh, I like that chair. This little bag is cute. Open story. Travel wristlet. It's got the RFID. I highly recommend that. Speaking as someone who has had their credit card information mysteriously scanned, stolen twice, which is a pain, I I use the RFID. That's what I have this lug bag. It has that in there. Ooh, a good selection of paperbacks. Oh, here we are in our music aisle. It's, it's so mysterious. I guess because I'm over by the TVs, that makes sense. These teacups cute from Opal House with a little saucer. It's really pretty. Hey guys, I'm over here in Walmart. I just finished filming a Walmart shop with me video and oh my God, keep me away. This brand, Nostalgia, looks like it's trying to be a, du a Walmart dupe for, uh, uh, what is that brand? I, that always, I always get the urge to buy stuff. They have like the mini waffle makers, which I own one, I've never used it. I have a mini waffle maker, I have a mini, I have a mini ice cream maker I've never used. Dash, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I've got an egg cooker, which I know I won't use. I'm tempted to get the donut maker. Uh, let's walk away now while we're ahead. Editing me, here I am minding my own business and look what the Amazonian has decided to show me. A dash waffle bowl maker. Bear in mind, I have the waffle maker, which I've never used. I have the ice cream maker, which I've never used. So, of course, I need a waffle bowl maker. I can't lie, I almost hit add to cart. Let's walk away. Kitchen gadgets. Oh, you know what I came in here? Well, I came in here to do the skincare video, but one thing I want is a broom for my little patio. These little sippy cups. Mini Moscow mule. It's like an American girl grows up, turns 21. <laughs> okay. Uh, the American girl dolls. I mean, it's like the perfect size for one, but yeah, I'm not advocating teaching your kids to imbibe in cocktails, obviously. Ooh, that's cute. Pioneer woman stuff, it always, oh, this one in particular. Looking bougie with the sippy sippy cup there. I like that, it comes with an additional lid. Hmm. Uh, I'm getting excited for summer, I see that, but as soon as it turns summer, it's so hot that it's like difficult to exist. You just kind of retreat indoors and hibernate. Summer. For those of you who do the pods, Pioneer Woman has a coffee pod organizer. That's nice. So I'm over here in the uh, garden section looking for that broom. Isn't this cute? The tiki table torch, little gnome. <laughs> That's adorbs. I have some nice uh, plant holders here at Wally World. The good, the better homes and gardens. <laughs> Call it the gooder homes and gardens. <laughs> uh, that's what we say when we're together. Ooh, the terrarium. Those always look cool, but like I feel like they get moldy or something. There's some nice terrarium kits here. Step out of the shower. I'm gonna put on some of this Rovectin's essential, Skin Essentials Activating Treatment Lotion onto my damp face. You guys, I went down a bit of a, not procrastinator, because I didn't really have anything urgent that needed attention or anything. Um, a rabbit hole on YouTube of uh, watching like pseudo music videos of grassroots. <laughs> I blame Walmart because they were playing a grassroots song in there and I, you know, you, you're you like, what was that lyric? I was like, what was that lyric? I went to look it up and I was like, oh, they got the whole song on YouTube. So I listened to it, I listened to, um, I'd wait a million, da, 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 
just to have you near me. I love that song, yeah. That particular Walmart always plays like the best classic, like classic rock and older music. Um, and they don't blast it either, I don't know. I wish more stores would do that. I hate, like, I like all types of music, but I feel as though there's certain genres of music that are more, like, retail friendly. <laughs> I don't know, well, now that with the pandemic and everything, I feel like, I feel as though, you know, we're not shopping in stores as much, etc., etc. So this is, like, not really on everybody's, like, forefront of the brain. I'm just putting on the serum. Um, but I feel like that trend has got to die. Like, remember how a Abercrombie would always be like, and you're like, oh, I, can't. I can't, I feel like I'm in a rave in here. Um, I feel like that's got to be going by the wayside, that trend of just like blasting your brain cells out so you make impulsive purchasing decisions. I think that was the premise behind it. Anyways, guys, I need to wrap up the vlog because I'm getting the cut it out uh, light, so I need to wrap up the vlog. But thank you guys for coming along with me. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.